Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alan and today this video is gonna be, you know, part part channel update and part wow. gameplay for Battlefield Back in V2. Um, I don't really have a lot of things to update on except I won the contest. So thanks a lot to everyone that you know helped me out, voted for me, commented commented for me, thumbs up for me. <laughs> and it, it's just, you know, it's sweet. So Stay tuned for that dual commentary coming up with Woody. And what else? Oh yeah, I have a shout out for just one guy today. His, his name's Psyches. Um, he's a really, really good PC player. His commentary is, you know, his commentary is really good as well. He sounds a lot like Tabe, if you guys know who Tabe is. I'm pretty sure all of you know who Tabe is. So check him out. He's got like 500 subscribers already and you know, Go subscribe to him because he posts up pretty pretty beastly scores on the PC version. Anyways, uh, what we have here today is me playing as Recon. It, oh, text message. Me playing as Recon in um, Battlefield Back in D2. You know, it's it's really fun. It's really fun sniping people down in this game. And watch watch me watch me destroy this tank right here. Ready? Boom! Do I get? The, yeah, I get the kill. And you know. Usually, if you want to play as Recon, you want to stay back a bit because unless you have the ACOG scope already unlocked for this weapon, uh, quick scoping is it's pretty hard. But you know, I can still, or you can still get off a of quick scope pretty easily. Sorry, I'm just replying to this. Anyways, so Recon is pretty damn fun. Um, I find myself playing between Recon and Medic a lot because Engineer, you know, I'm kind of bored of it, and Medic is pretty pretty damn awesome because if you if you have an LMG with the medic, you know, it's pretty much no recoil for some reason and it just blows out of <laughs> No, it doesn't blow, but you know, it's a beastly weapon. Beastly LMG. Get a little nice quick scope right there, so that totally contradicts what I said like a minute ago, but <laughs> whatever. Um, I don't think I have enough claymores or C4 to blow this thing up, so I throw a motion. Okay, at this time I didn't know what this little ball was. I thought it was, you know, kind of looked like one of those, one of those like sphere Rubik's spheres or whatever. But <laughs> I didn't find out as motion detector or motion ball until a few games after. So what are you gonna do, right? Anyways, uh, what I, you know, this is just showcasing a bit of the spawn point system. Which is pretty damn sweet. Do I get that kill? No, I don't. And I die. That's one of the cons of the spawn system is... Um, if you spawn near someone that's getting shot down, yeah, chances are you're going to get shot down as well. Anyways, on my recon, I think I'm using the M24 sniper. Yes, I am. You know, If you guys didn't see that, I'm using the M24 sniper. Do I get this kill right here? No, I do not. Do I try again? Yes, I do. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Now, what I like about this game is the targeting system. Look at this. Like, I wouldn't have seen him without targeting him first. So, you know, that's that's one tip for you guys. Target your guy and it makes you it makes your life a whole lot easier because because if you target someone and someone else kills them, you get 20 points for that. So, duh. 20 points. And if you get a hit marker, that's 30 points. So you get 20 and 30. Uh, that's you, you do the math. That's pretty much a kill right there. What I like about this game is that when you check the scoreboard scoreboard during the game, it only shows you the amount of points you have. So, oh, get a nice little double right there. But it only shows you the amount of points you have. So it doesn't tell you your KD until the end of, end of the game. And, you know, you can just have fun. Just do what you like to do. And that's what I like about this game. You know, I don't I don't get stressed out like I do with Modern Warfare. There's none of that commando stuff, painkiller stuff, and all. It's it's just a fun time, seriously. Unless you're playing with really good players, which I've come across, and really good players are, <laughs> they're really good. <laughs> you know, I'm like level eight now or something, level seven, and I've played with people that are like level 23 and stuff, and they <laughs> they have printed some pretty sweet weapons. So, I one thing about this game is I can never, you know, I can never get myself to stick with one class you know because if you stick with one class and you keep you keep playing around with that one class you can upgrade your weapons get new weapons for that class so uh, well, what I find myself doing is that I like to rotate between classes uh, I don't know if it's just me but 
I like to play all my classes evenly, but most most of the time I'm playing the recon or recon or medic class because um, have you guys tried killing someone with a defibrillator? <laughs> it's it's pretty damn sweet, you know. It's pretty fun. It's pretty funny actually, and yeah. Anyways, what I'm playing right now is uh, Conquest. Conquest is a mix of team deathmatch and domination. That's what I like to say. Um, because you see that number below US and you see that number between RU. Uh, that's the number of lives each team has. And the more flags you get, I believe the number of lives that uh, they go up. Either that or the more flags you get, they go down or something. And when you start killing people, the lives go down. So you pretty much play till zero. You know, when I first started out playing this game, I didn't really understand that system at all. So, <laughs> what are you going to do, right? Anyways, um, usually with recon, you, you're pretty much encouraged to camp. Like, you see some of my teammates, they're camping all the way from back there. Because they got the 12 times optical zoom. That can <laughs> pretty much zoom across the map. <laughs> Which is pretty cheap, but, um... When you're sniping from so far away, you gotta consider the the bullet time lag and all that all that junk because that's what Battlefield 2 is about, you know. Uh, you got the bullet time lag, or you got the air resistance, so you got the gravity going on, and you got you got a bunch of stuff going on. And usually, you have to lead your shot, or else you're not gonna do well. And you, if you're shooting from far away, and the, the you want to aim the you want to aim at the guy. Um, you want to aim at his head. You're going to have to shoot a bit above his head because the bullet's going to drop down. You know, That's just how this game plays. Anyways, I think I try and quick scope this guy. And I just whip out my, whip out my pistol. <laughs> my friend kills him, so, you know, whatever. Like... This game, unless unless you're not hitting for the, unless you're like really close and you're hit not aiming at the head or something like that, usually you get hit markers, which which will take you off. But you know, as as long as you spotted the guy before you shot him or something, you know you'll know where he's hiding and stuff. And over here, I shoot down that UAV. Now UAVs in this game are hilarious. Um, I don't know if you guys have tried it, but I have a clip of this one guy. He goes in the UAV and goes in the building. He go goes in the building. Well, I'm, I'm I'm playing Rush, I think. He goes in the building and you know we planted the bomb or either they planted the bomb and he's defending it with the UAV. Goes in the building and sits on my teammate and gets a road kill. And oh my god, that was one of the funniest moments of uh, of this game ever. So. <laughs> You know, I, I've, I've, I've had nothing but laughs in this game, seriously. You know, there's that one kill, you know, that one death where that guy sneaks up behind you and you're like, oh, damn it. But whatever, you get the guy back with the RPG and it's all good. Get a nice little quick scope. Drag, drag scope, maybe. That was a, that, that was controversial, you know. It could have been a drag scope or a quick scope. Um, let's see if I get this guy right here. No, I do not. But you know, what are you gonna do, right? You gotta take the chance. Get the guy, get the guy in the tank. <laughs> um, yeah. Getting a new mic tomorrow. I'm getting the Audio Technica AT2020. So hopefully my voice quality will be a bit, bit better. If you guys thought my microphone sucked or something, I'm using the Rock Band. No, this is this might be Rock Band Guitar Hero. I don't know. I lent it from a friend. Um, one of those mics uh, and it's it's worked pretty well for me but you know I'm getting an AT2020 those are pretty damn sweet so hopefully my voice quality is better and hopefully you you start you start not getting as much uh, puffs like puh, 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 and like tuh, 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 and like those those, those kind of sounds uh, so so over here I'm just like I'm just fooling around a bit sniping long range Trying to spot some guys. When I'm when I'm when I'm in my scope, I'm always spamming the back button so I can hopefully you know see a guy that I probably wouldn't have seen if I didn't spot him. So, you know, the spotting tool is definitely really helpful in this game. I'm not gonna lie. 
Anyways, if you guys like more Battlefield Backcom D2 videos, um, post... Oh, sorry. Screensaver went on. But post a comment in the comment box. Tell me how you guys like this gameplay and stuff. And I'll be sure to post more. I'm not exactly the best Battlefield 2 player yet, but, you know, um, yeah. And I will be posting, I will still be posting Call of Duty videos, so don't you guys worry. You know, it's still my main game, pretty much. And, <laughs> still, I have a lot of dual commentaries coming up. You know, ever since I posted that comment on, uh, Woody's Gamertag, a lot of people have been messaging me for dual commentaries, and I've been messaging some people for dual commentaries as well, so... So, and they've, they've agreed to do them with me, so expect those in the future. Um, so, this was a channel update slash gameplay video. Check out Psyches, he's a really good player, and he's probably going to do better than me in the future. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, that's about it.